Welcome to week two, high school students. I hope that you had a fantastic weekend. I hope that it was refreshing. Uh, I hope you're ready to get into week two. I hope that you enjoyed a little bit of relaxation, maybe a few games, time with family, and a bit of reading. I'm sure that we all are heartily sick of lockdown learning. Um, I think we're probably sick of Zoom sessions. I think we're sick of having to learn independently, look at our textbooks by ourselves, not get immediate answers to our questions. I'm sure that we're sick of the extra workload, uh, both teachers and students. Let me encourage you to finish well. It seems like we might be nearing the end of this lockdown situation. And so I want you to imagine yourself as a runner. Maybe think back to year seven and eight when Miss K was in charge of you and sent you out for regular runs. And uh, she would be encouraging you and others would be encouraging you as you got to your final lap, finish well, there'd be the cheering and you'd try and sprint to cross the finish line. That's what I want you to do as we head towards the end of lockdown time. Finish well. Don't give up now. Don't start walking on this final lap, but keep on sprinting to the end. Finish even perhaps better than you have been uh, running up until now. Okay. For many of you, I imagine that this time has been different, but hasn't been difficult. Um, perhaps it's uh, uh, the change has been exciting for you. Uh, some of you, however, I imagine are feeling a little bit uh, stressed, maybe you're a little bit worried, maybe you found this time a little bit more difficult than others. I want you to remember in all of this what we know about the character of God. We know that God is sovereign. That means that he's in control, he rules the universe, and he ordains things to occur. It's not like God was um, distracted uh, and didn't realize that COVID-19 had slipped through and he's like, oh, shucks, I shouldn't have let that happen. No. God is in charge, he reigns, he rules, and he ordains. So, like I said in our first video, what is God teaching us at this time? What should we be thinking? What is he teaching me about himself? And what is he teaching me about myself? And what can I learn at this time? So keep on pondering those questions. I've learned about myself. I tend to go on uh, and just assume that the plans that I make, uh, they're going to happen. I kind of act as if I'm sovereign, and that my will will be done on earth. Uh, and of course it's not true. Uh, there's, a, there's a passage in James chapter 4 which reminds uh, people like me, and perhaps you're like this as well, that you make your plans and you get very upset if things don't work out, um, that uh, our lives are like mist that just disappears as the sun comes up. Uh, I don't know what will happen tomorrow. You don't know what will happen tomorrow. And this has been a good reminder of that. Uh, we plan, but God ordains, and God is sovereign. Another thing I've learned, like so many people in, in Western countries, I've come to expect a certain amount of economic security and a comfortable lifestyle as a given of, this is, what, this is my right, this is how I should be able to live. Um, and although many of us claim to trust in God for provision, uh, we're often truly relying on something else, some other resource uh, that we have. Uh, maybe savings in the bank, or uh, maybe oh, I can do uh, this this other thing to make ensure that my life is going to go easily and well. We, well, it's easy to claim, isn't it, that God is our provider when we think that even if He doesn't come through, that we've got some other resources tucked away over here and we'll be okay anyway. So let me challenge you to think through what other hidden idols are in your heart at this time and that this turbulence might be uncovering? What other things are you leaning on or relying on um, instead of God? There's a famous hymn that I'm quite fond of uh, that has this chorus, On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. That's what God wants us to realise, and maybe that's what he's teaching you at this time. Other things that we rely on, apart from him, are like sinking sand, like quicksand. Finally, let me encourage you with this truth. God loves his children. If you, by faith in Christ Jesus, are one of his, uh, his children, you know that he loves you and that what is going on now is for your good. He's working all things for good in your life. And so if, it is, if you're one of those people who are finding this time particularly difficult, then remember that it's not in the times of ease. 
and uh, plenty and uh, calm that we tend to grow the most. It's actually in the times of uh, distress and difficulty. And God uses those times to grow our character and grow us more like Christ. All this pain is designed to do us good, to draw us closer to himself. C.S. Lewis talked about like going to the dentist. Nobody likes going to the dentist. They, uh, you know, they get in there and they're pulling at your teeth and injecting uh, your gums and all this kind of thing. It's, it's, it's horrific. I hate the dentist, right? But I know that the dentist is doing these things for my good, so I submit to them and, uh, and I know that the outcome is going to be a good one. And that's the same uh, or similar in this situation. We know that sometimes things are going to go difficult uh, and, and we're going to struggle with them, but God intends them and will use them for our ultimate good. And this is always the case. So let me encourage you, uh, don't uh, shut down your brain at this time. Don't uh, shut down your meditation and thinking about what God is teaching you. Keep on reflecting on what you are finding difficult and maybe what you are relying on and trusting instead of God. Ask God by His Spirit to show you what you're resting on and to draw you closer to Himself so that you may rest alone on Christ. Well guys, I'm really looking forward to getting back together with you in the classroom. Totally miss that, um, and I, it can't come soon enough. So, see you soon. God bless.